Seven rounds of GNCC are in the books. And in his final season as an XC1 Pro, Caleb Russell has won six of those seven. Can he add another win to his career total here today? Round number eight of the Grand National Cross Country on MAV TV starts right now. Are you ready to go, GMCC Racing? Well, hello again, folks, and welcome to round number eight, the High Voltage GNCC, located at the Lilly Family Farm in Maidsville, West Virginia. I'm Mikey Waynes, and I'll be taking you through today's racing action. First things first, though, we'll look at the specialized race recap. Round number seven, well, it started a lot like every other round this season. Caleb Russell establishing the early lead, the rest of the pack looking for ways to get in front of him. It wasn't all gravy for Caleb, though. Goes down right here, as we'll see just a second there. Loses control, able to get back on the machine pretty quick, but it was enough to open up the window for Ben Kelly to make up some time in the number 530 KTM. Jumped out in front of Caleb, albeit not very long, as Caleb able to move in front of him here, runs up the hill climb, and pretty much from here, it was the Caleb Russell show out front outside of some lap traffic that he would have to deal with later on in the race. Uh, right there, Ben Kelly still with his name in that number two spot. But that would not last much longer as Josh Strang, who after a bad start, was hard on the charge, worked his absolute tail off, and eventually able to move up into that number two spot. And for a brief moment, we thought he just might be able to catch up with Caleb as lap traffic played a major factor in this one toward the end. But Caleb, the old wily veteran that he is, able to hang on to it and uh, keep the win for himself, despite the efforts of Josh Strang right there. And there he is, Caleb Russell, making his way into the checkered flag at the John Penton GNCC. And we look at the top 10 from that one against Strang. We know took the second place spot. And how about the finish for the 314 Sherco? Uh, Grant Baylor, Ben Kelly after the strong start, finishing in fourth, and we had a chance to catch up with Caleb after the race. I'm not local anymore, obviously, but uh, it's been, I've been long removed from the area, but uh, it's, it's nice to come back. Still got a lot of family and friends around that are out here cheering me on. So thanks, thanks to everybody out there. Um, it was a tough racetrack. It was, uh, you know, had some traction here and there to be found, but the, it, was, it was slim pickings. For the most part, it was really slick. and. I was hating life on the last lap and a half. I was like, damn, not again. But uh, we got it done, that's all that matters. Well, today, Supercross meets GNCC. Zach Osborne will be lining up with the XC1 Pro class to try his hand at some off-road GNCC racing. We had a chance to catch up with Zach before today's race. Uh, I'm Zach Osborne, we're here at the High Voltage GNCC, and um, yeah, this opportunity was basically afforded to me by the coronavirus crisis, um, because otherwise we'd be racing pro motocross right now. So for me, it's just a, a way to continue racing and uh, keep keep sharp, you know? Um, I think it's there's not a lot of expectation from me. Um, everyone supports me, and it was uh, a pretty easy decision. So I'm just looking forward to going racing and having some fun. Enrolling with the Yamaha Racing Skycam. How about it? And boy, what a start out of the 206 of Josh Toth snagging the early lead in what is a sea of orange KTMs out in front. I believe Caleb Russell back there in about the number three or number four spot, duking it out the top uh, or the second through fourth, battling into the woods right there, jockeying for position. Toth able to stay out in front of these guys early. And still the case is they're into the woods now. Fantastic. Best start of the season for the 206 of Josh Toth. Boy, already 
a good lead as he looks over his shoulder and sees Dante Oliveira, a great works rider from the West Coast coming out and racing here on the East Coast. And a pretty cool uh, sight to see. Uh, some big names from the West Coast and, well, even Supercross. Uh, Zach Osborne out here racing today. Uh, not in the top five right now. There is Jordan Ashburn bringing it up in the number five spot as we head back down to the start of the XC2 250 Pro class. And there they go. And, oh, good battle going on between Thorn Devlin and the 328 KTM of Jesse Ansley. Uh, Thorn Devlin, and I'm not sure who got the whole shot on that one. That one was tight and still tight as they head into the woods right here. This is the kind of start Jesse Ansley has needed, though. Uh, a rider who's got a championship in the FMF XC3, but we have not seen the same kind of success out of Jesse um, all season long on the 250. Been quite the adjustment for him. Maybe today is the day he can put it together and put that thing up on the box. I know it would be a major, major confidence boost for Jesse Ansley. As we head back down to the FMF XC3 125 Pro-Am class. And I feel like I need to be quiet. You just want to hear those things sing. No doubt about it. Jason Rains right there, the number 100 Yamaha out in front of this one. The old Wiley veteran out there racing with the young guns. And boy, what a great start for Jason Reigns right there in control of that one early as they move their way. It's going to be, it was a dusty one to say the least. Leader back on screen, the 206 KTM of Josh Toth in control of this one. Can he snag his first win of the season? Dante Oliveira, fantastic start for him, but there he is, the one guy you don't want behind you, Caleb Russell on the move right now. Who's going to snag the win here today in round number eight, the high voltage GNCC? We return to MAV TV in just a moment. Coverage of the 2020 Grand National Cross Country Series on MAV-TV is brought to you in part by Specialized Turbo E-Bikes. It's you, only faster. Rocky Mountain ATV MC, get ready. And by Yamaha, revs your heart. Josh Toth, still out in front and has a strong lead on Caleb Russell right now. And boy, if you are a Josh Toth fan, if you're Josh Toth, you got to feel good about the start of this race. Of course, plenty of race left in this one, but Josh uh, certainly his best start of the year. In fact, he missed the first three rounds of this season due to injury and comes in here today. Uh, best finish of the season, fifth place. He's got a few of those and then one sixth place finish. And all it takes for these guys is just one solid race for a rider to get their confidence back. And then they know they can start competing for podiums and eventually start throwing their name in the hat for some wins. But boy, how about the lead Josh Toth has right now? Still no signs of second place. There he is, Caleb Russell. I do got to say, and I know we've said it many, many times, if there's one guy you don't want behind you, it is certainly Caleb Russell, but boy, right now, the 206 KTM of Josh Toth riding on rails out there just won't be denied. And now here is Caleb Russell on screen, the number one couple of uh, lappers in between those two riders. Uh, lap traffic, if you don't know, if it's the first GNCC you've ever watched, we refer to lapped riders. Uh, it's not just the pro guys out there like you have at Supercross. No, these guys are out there with a riders, B riders, uh, all on different rows, obviously, but just another added element uh, to Grand National Cross Country Racing. Uh, certainly one that uh, the pro guys can handle very, very well, but uh, can certainly make or break a race for some pro guys as well. Ben Kelly in the number four spot right now. Big, big major time gaps between each of our top riders right now. 
And there you go, rounding out your top five, the 127, Babbitt's Online, Monster Energy Kawasaki of Jordan Ashburn, rounding out that uh, top five right there. And how about it? Rolling is Josh Strang right there, the 114. Teammate of Jordan Ashburn, as a matter of fact. So again, seeing some major time gaps in our riders right here. There is the 530 of Ben Kelly on screen. Uh, but seeing these major time gaps, you got to think something is eventually going to give. Once the pit strategy comes into play, these guys have to stop for fuel, water, all that stuff, albeit quick. Uh, combine that with uh, that three or that uh, after the two hour mark, that last hour of a three hour GNCC is really the make or break. Does Toth have it to hang on for a win after three hours? We don't know, but we do know this. Caleb Russell closing that gap now. As you look at it, you got to think that is about a five to eight second gap between those two riders. Now we got ourselves a race. Toth moving through methodically. Caleb Russell comes off the foot peg a little bit, but certainly riding well behind Josh Toth right now. Down six, there's your gap between first and second. Can Toth hang on for his first win of the year? Will Caleb Russell get win number seven? GNCC on MAV-TV continues after this. Well, bad news for the 314 Factory One Sherco machine of Grant Baylor. He is off the bike and mechanic Eric, whoa! Eric takes one to the face right there. Uh, he is all right. And I know the folks at home watching are thinking, that's the number one rule. You don't do that. You know it's hot. You know it's going to steam on you. But I got to tell you, Eric's number one thought there as a pro mechanic is, what do I have to do to get my rider back out on the track? So uh, safety third, uh, at least top five on that one. Uh, we'll give him a mulligan on that one. Uh, boy, uh, frustrating to say the least for the Factor One Sherco machine. Josh Toth was on screen there getting a pit stop, some fuel, new set of goggles, and rehydrated as you're seeing the exact same thing as Caleb Russell says, yeah, yeah, I want that water, let's go. I got to roll. So Caleb Russell off and rolling here. Pretty good pit stop for him. Uh, pit strategy. Such a major part, talked a little bit earlier about it, but such a major part of these three-hour GNCCs, when to pit, uh, what to do at each pit stop, uh, figuring out whether or not you've got enough fuel, all of that, such huge factors into a three-hour GNCC. And Josh Toth still in control of this one, but boy, that gap still six to eight seconds right there. Josh Toth going to have his work cut out for him in this one as Caleb Russell now has Josh Toth in his sights. And it, you got to wonder, is the defending champ going to jump out in front? And here he does. Caleb Russell now out in front. Josh Toth trails behind in the number two spot. We got ourselves an absolute barn burner today between the two KTMs. So Caleb Russell, we oh, and he's the machine is smoking. Caleb Russell's bike smoking right there. How serious is that going to be as this one wears on? Again, we talked about pit strategy, how important it is. One of those things, will this come back to haunt Caleb Russell? No problem right there as Josh Toth moving through in the number two spot. Different line choices for the riders. And boy, Caleb Russell, that machine is now smoking quite a bit. Is the machine going to hold out for three hours, let alone the rider? They're going to pop out into the open field section here, and we'll see if this doesn't create an opportunity for the 206 KTM of Josh Toth. Caleb Russell got to be thinking right now, man, this just hang on, just hang on till the end of this one. I, I hate the term, but it's one of those things, salvage points. You're looking for a win. That's what you want. But if you can't get that, you want to finish as high as you can, especially for a guy like Caleb working on a championship. And here we're going to see it shake down right here. Caleb Russell out in front. That machine still smoking. Can Toth get around him as we're going to have to have some speed? And he does around the outside. And he's able to get around Caleb Russell. Caleb, nothing for him right there. Look to see Toth pull away, and he does. Toth putting a lot of distance between him and Caleb Russell right now. And Caleb just nursing that machine. Up on the foot pegs, looks like he's trail riding right now. This is bad news 
If you're a Caleb Russell fan, can he duke it out and work his way back to the front? What a wild race this has been. Josh Toth now back out in front again, still in control of this one. Whew. Josh Toth regains the lead. Caleb Russell in second, looking over his shoulder right there, and the machine smoking off and on. How is this thing going to shake down? GNCC returns after this. Coverage of the 2020 Grand National Cross Country Series on MAV-TV is brought to you in part by Specialized Turbo E-Bikes. It's you, only faster. Rocky Mountain ATV MC, get ready. And by Yamaha, revs your heart. Well, a look at the overall trophy for the high voltage GNCC. Without a doubt, a coveted trophy if you're an ACDC fan. No doubt about it. Caleb Russell out in front right there. And uh, boy, this uh, this racetrack giving these guys everything they want. Uh, KTM not changing the air filter for Caleb Russell. Caleb Russell blowing smoke earlier. Uh, Josh Toth able to get around him in the open field section. But right now, Caleb Russell in control of this thing. Can he limp it into the finish line and snag a win right here? Little bit of distance between him and Josh Toth. Uh, but uh, Toe certainly not out of this one by any means. As we uh, take a look here, again, Caleb Russell out in front. He is your leader in the XC1 Pro class. And you see that machine blowing smoke right now. And the question is, can it hang on for the race win? Something we talked about earlier, uh, which I can't stand the phrase, is salvage points. But as we see on screen there, doesn't look like Caleb's going to have to salvage any points here today. He will jump in here for the checkered flag and win number seven in just eight rounds of racing here in 2020. When you can see it in the eyes right there, Caleb Russell gets the win, but boy, not happy right now. The body language on Caleb Russell, you can see the frustration in him right there as he rips the goggles and the helmet off and he's heading to his own pits. He doesn't have time to be in the KTM pits right now. A fist bump to a fan right there and the fans thinking, Dude, you won. What's wrong? But uh, that's the champion right there. Let's get at the uh, the words from Caleb Russell, the specialized post-race interview. Tough day, you know, it was super dry and dusty and um, was uh, third at the top of the hill at the start. Uh, Dante kind of pinched me off there going in the first turn. So I got uh, shuffled back just a little and um, I, I was stuck behind him and he was kind of letting Toth kind of walk away from us there. and. Um, I knew it was going to be tough to close in on him there for the beginning of the race, and it was stayed at like, you know, that 30-second mark for a couple laps, and then I kind of inched my way up, and um, I made my pat made my move on him, and uh, yeah, with what, uh, maybe going before, just before the white flagger, and, um, you know, as dry and dusty as it was today, I felt like we took a big gamble and not changing our filter, you know. We uh, learned our lesson a high point last year on these same exact conditions and we did it again so you know history has a funny way of repeating itself and um, I got the pit board on the last lap saved the bike and uh, as soon as I got that pit board I looked back and I seen it was smoking and then I lost power and um, I was frustrated and I fell over and I broke my shifter so then I couldn't short shift and uh, I was just cruising around and um, I kept looking back and Toth was nowhere that not there so I think he was petering out or he was trying to save his bike too and um, uh, and he got up to me in the field and I, I couldn't race with him or I would have just tanked it right there. So um, I, he, I, he rode right around me and um, I stayed, you know, a little ways out of sight, you know, because obviously he was faster in the field and uh, I was just putting around. But um, I kind of just snuck up on him over here on this se section. He did, I don't think he was going to expect to see me. And um, there's a lapper in front of him. He tried to cut early up a hill and I just railed the berm. I was like, we're like. I can push my bike. It's all downhill to the finish from here. If it blows up on the top of the hill, I can I can make it in and get second. So I went for it, got around him, and won the race. I don't know how. So the gamble paid off, is what you're saying. Yeah, but uh, you know it's it's not fun when you're gambling with your livelihood. 
Well, there's a look at second place finisher, Josh Toth. Toth cooling off a little water on the head right there. If you're Josh Toth, you got to feel good about this one. Obviously, a win would be great, but uh, certainly a second place for Josh Toth here today. His best finish of the season. It was brutal. Uh, luckily, got a good start, got the whole shot, and uh, checked out on the start. And just rode my own race the whole time, and uh, yeah, got into some lappers and whatnot, and Caleb was able to close in a bit, and uh, yeah, he was riding really well. And we were going back and forth for uh, as much as you could with the dust, but um, yeah, racing's racing, and came down to close, and he, he edged me out, so. Well, look at the top 10 from today. Again, Caleb Russell snagging the win there, and we heard from Josh Toth, who took second. How about it? The 114, Kawasaki and Josh Strang able to hang on for a podium finish and keeps that streak alive here today. Had a chance to catch up with Josh after the race. Yeah, I was uh, pretty lucky there to get third at the end. Uh, uh, ben was right on me there towards the end, and uh, just early on, once I got a little bit clear of the dust, I was just I just tried to push too hard and I made a ton of mistakes so uh then I just kind of just rode rode the track and uh and uh, I was lucky to get third so it, was, so it was a decent day well congratulations to our top three today Strang third Toth second and your winner here today Caleb Russell as we look at the specialized race recap it was Josh Toth snagging the early lead in a sea of orange KTMs Toth would lead or at the very least battle for the lead throughout all three hours of racing action. And no doubt about it, the time gaps early were pretty substantial, but Caleb Russell eventually able to overcome, worked up into the number two spot, and then he had his work cut out for him, hunting down Josh Toth, and finally was able to get around him. But it didn't last too long as Caleb Russell's machine started blowing smoke, and we wondered what would happen, and we saw it come into play right here as Josh Toth was able to work his way around the outside of Caleb Russell and looked like for the moment might have been taking the win for the day. But eventually, Caleb Russell able to work his way back into the front of Josh Toth in second right there on screen. But when it was all said and done, he was able to work his way in front of Josh Toth and bring it in for win number seven of this 2020 season. Caleb Russell's final season as an XC1 Pro continues this season with a win, albeit a frustrating one for KR. How about it? All in all, it was a good day at GNCC Racing. That is going to do it for us here at the High Voltage GNCC. I'm Mikey Waynes. We'll see you at the races.